Hi there, welcome to Agger's channel. Uh, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, what we're going to talk about today is can you clean windows without detailing? Yeah. Well, don't get carried away because the answer is not entirely, but you can make a significant difference with your equipment and your technique. Um, I'll show you later what I did to the equipment, but uh, I've got some ordinary stuff here. Ordinary Squeedy, okay, fixed. Doesn't move, it's uh, one of the under 50s, okay, 50 years. Uh, it's not been modified in any way. They say that uh, it's got a little bit of dog ear in there, but it's got the straight flat edges. It's quite, it's quite ordinary, normal. I've got a normal strip applicator. Okay, now when I do the window with this, okay, some advantages to it, yeah, go along the edges like this, you have to, what you call, cut in or dive bomb the edges with this, okay, so what you might think, well, okay, it takes that little bit longer, okay. show you this. What tends to happen, I've been through this before, when you come down from this corner, if you're right-handed, if you're left-handed, it'd be the other side. Okay, tripod's getting in the way. Okay, and what will happen is, you see the metal part there, it's actually pushing the blade away from the frame. You can actually see a bit of soap there. Maybe if you look closely, can you see? So you maybe you have to dive bomb. See, you might think, oh well, I'm good at this now. So you dive bomb, okay, that's fine. But it does take longer, because you have to dive bomb, but then what else can you do? Well, let me show you. You know I'm uh, into wagtail and all that sort of thing. So we see where we are with the camera. Okay. Wagtail, okay. It is modified quite a bit. Okay. Now, initially, a few years ago, I devised this. You see the split there? Okay. So that I could work with a pole and squeegee at the same time without having to dive bomb. See, what do I mean? Well, you see this angle here and the split. The split is a better form of dog earring. It doesn't let this rubber bend back here so much, okay? So that it keeps it right in the corner of the frame, right in the edge. Okay, let's just wet this up a minute. See what we can do here again. Now you'll notice here, not only does the applicator not make as much mess on the edges of the frame as the normal strip washer, okay, because it, although it does get to the edges, it doesn't put so much uh, soap over the frame, right? Now, when you come to squeegee the window, okay, there's a little bit of cutting in there, but then go across the window, and if you're left-handed, it's the other way around. Come to the corner here, and you notice how that angle cut there fits the window, fits the window frame, and you can actually come down the frame, like this, and it's almost perfect. Maybe a bit of cutting in there, straight across the glass again. Okay, same this side. you can actually come down the glass like this. And there are certain um, situations, okay, when you might need to come down the glass at this angle, because otherwise you'll leave a line down the middle. If you try and cut in, you see, some windows, then you'll get a line down there. You can actually see that, can't you? However, doing it this way around, a bit more wet on there, 
Okay, you can actually do it like this. And that's hardly leaving anything at all. You could actually walk away from that. However, of course you still need to tidy up the sill. And possibly this bottom edge here. Unfortunately, several times, uh, you know, about 70-80%. However, what this does for you is that on many windows you can actually you can yes you can actually just walk away from the window without detailing okay let's wet this up again efficient as well. Let's see how far I can get without having to detail at all. Very often I'll just do the bottom edge and then do the silk all the way. Sometimes I'll tidy up the frames, I don't know every time I get a little fed but I'll just wipe the frames across. Uh, just ignore the uh, lead here, it's just for demonstration. I would uh, water fed that and the bottom window but this is just for a demo, okay. And like I said Initially, I devised this dog earring, and this is how uh, the Mormon accelerator came about. Actually, Bob Hatt is known as the inventor of the Mormon accelerator and flick, etc. Uh, he actually asked me if he could use this idea at the tips here, and this is where you get your Mormon accelerator tips from you know, the blue plastic. On the ends, and that's where the idea came from. Okay. So if you don't want to dog ear this yourself, I've got videos on that. And it does make a great difference. Then you can go and get one of theirs. Go and get one of Mormon's um, squeegees, and I think they're very, very good. Um, I like wagtails as well. I need to get a, one of the Mormon ones. I did have one; it wore out, um, not prematurely. But uh, anyway, back to the pole. Uh, I used to do all my windows with a pole, uh, just the first floor, up to the first floor, but and that's why I had to uh, devise this, see on the tip there, because otherwise you had to squeegee the window, and then you'd have to bring the pole down, and you'd have to put a small cloth on the end of your pole, something like this, put the pole up again, and then detail the edges. Very often it would just show where you've detailed of course. So when I had this on here, because you'll find it really difficult to dive bomb or cut in well, when you've got a squeegee on a pole. It's even harder with a, a fixed squeegee as I was showing you before. Like this it becomes extremely awkward because you've got to make your movements. So I'll just um, Let's say you can't reach this, this is a, a higher up window, not necessarily upstairs one, but quite, quite high up. Um, the fixed squeegee, there's a lot more movement at the bottom of the pole, a lot more swinging around here. Personally, I think it's so much harder than with a swivel. Although, don't get me wrong, of course it takes a lot, a big learning curve to actually get used to a swivel, whether it's one of the Mormon ones or the wagtails. You might like it, but don't give up if you get one. Just keep going back to it, okay? Just don't go cold turkey and straight into it and think you can use it full time until you've got used to it. So, what I did, because I couldn't actually cut in um, with the blade on a pole. Let's say this was an upstairs window. What helps a lot, mind you, is the actual swivel on this squeegee. You see how that's getting right in the corners? So you can cut into a certain bit 
but not totally. And that's why, as you can see, the squeegee. bombing which would be very very difficult with a squeegee on the end of a pole. Instead I can just bring the pole down like this and just doing straight pulls you see. Say this was a narrow window and say the frames here then I could just point down as the centre so there's no line in the middle and you would still not have any detailing to do. See let me just wet that up again and prove it to you. start off at the top of the window when I'm using a pole like this. Okay, let's get the camera. Get a bit of a close up here. I wonder if I can actually demonstrate there. There's virtually nothing there at all. Previously, if I tried to do that with a fixed standard squeegee, I would not be able to do that and walk away. Mind you, when you get good at this, like I said, it's like a little game. It's, it's really great because um, I use this as like a game <sighs> with smaller poles like this, tiny ones where you just can't quite reach. It's fantastic as well. Let's say I just couldn't reach. So the whole package, the combination of the swivel, the pad that falls down, angles and the dog ear in, it all helps. See the technique I'm using there? There's no dive bomb in there really at all. Okay. And again, I can just walk away from that except for the sill and perhaps this bottom edge here. Okay. Unfortunately, sometimes you make a mistake. You have to wipe it off. You might use a, a blue cloth. Still use scrim, towel. I prefer towels though. I'll tell you why I like towels, because they're much fluffier. When you put it around your finger, you notice how your fingers just round, it's not like pointed like that. <laughs> I can do that. Okay, it doesn't actually get in some of the edges here, but with a towel, you see because it's fluffy, it'll get in. I know some, some of you will fold it around your finger a little bit like that. It'll go in the edge a bit better. Okay, but I prefer towels because it stays faffing around. Generally it'll go into the corners there. You know? So there you go. Um, so that's why I like the wagtail, or the accelerator, or the flick, as you call it, because the flick's got the, the pad on like this, okay, and this dog ear, and there's more to it than you might imagine, and it works better than you might imagine, so what I really like to do and enjoy this is like how many windows can you just walk away from without hardly having to do any detail at all. And you can work faster, more efficiently, earn more money, okay? So, uh, let's just give that another shot, another demo. This is why I like it. I like the wagtail, I like the system a lot because I can work really fast. It's just one tool, you know, like this. Just a bit. I'm trying too hard, I suppose, but. confident with that. You can see that um, I don't think there's anything there at all. It's 
the whole window. A tiny bit in the corner there. But I'm not after perfection, but near enough. It's near enough, I can tell you that, and nobody would notice. You know. Just as it was in the old days of the old squeegees. I can't believe what I used to get away with, you know. There's a bit there, just a little tiny bit, you see. But that's all part of the game. I did this really quickly, this window, so you can see how fast it can be done, you know. Uh, let's see if that's all right. Yeah, so there you go. So instead of this, the other problem with this is, I didn't say, I don't remember, um, especially on brown frames, what will happen with this type of strip sleeve? The advantage is it holds a load of water, a lot more water, but it doesn't really matter when you've got a bottle of water. That's the method I use. You can just squirt it every time it needs to be wet anyway, or squirt it on the, on the glass like that, you see? And that's why the, you can get away with a pad like this. It doesn't hold so much water, but then it's, it's lighter and it doesn't put suds all around the frame so much as, as this type of strip washer will. Okay, you guys, I'm not the best one clean in the world. Some of you guys are amazing, and I like Bob Hat, but uh, there's just some of the things that I've noticed about what I do. I found out the wagtail, uh, this type of squeegee, is far superior and you've only got one tool as well to deal with. I find it much easier because I don't have to keep putting the strip washer back in and pulling the squeegee out and then pulling the cloth out. I can keep the silk cloth in my hand here very often and I don't have to detail so much. Maybe that bottom edge like I said, silk cloth and I can hold that in the other hand at the same time. You see. So there you go, that's the technique, can you get away without detail, well no, not entirely, but you can get really, really close, which is, uh, is brilliant. I, I love this because uh, I, I see it as a game, it keeps me busy, it keeps me interested, see how many windows I can just walk away from. Um, oh, that's a good <laughs> but I can do that with a lot of windows these days, especially if I just put that little bit of effort in, take a little bit more time and rather than use this type of squeegee. Although, like I said, you can put the same techniques to work on this squeegee as well, because originally that's how these come, with just square ends. Okay, but as I say, uh, I banged on about this enough, you know why they're angled now, because when you come down the glass, as you can tell, it just seems to fit that much better. Okay, as you'll see here, if you're right-handed, there's no detailing required on that side at all. Okay, and these are pretty difficult uh, frames with these rubbers in. Uh, the frames will vary, of course, but generally I can get away with this. If you're left-handed, you can come down the glass on the other side, like so. No detailing required. Love it to bits, actually. Okay, there we go. So. so if you like that, just uh, give us a thumbs up, please, and uh, subscribe and the notification bell. So thanks very much for watching and uh, that's job done.